Hey guys, welcome back to BNB Toys. Today we got the G.I. Joe Classified Series Arctic Mission Storm Shadow. I was browsing Amazon a couple of days ago and saw that they dropped this. It was a return, as you can see here. And they listed it for $23.99, which compared to $40 and $50 was actually a really good deal. I don't mind. I actually cut the tape open myself, so it was sealed. And I went through everything before I even messed with it at all. But um, yeah, as you can see here, it's got the really nice image here. I like that it's got the outline of pinkish purple color here, which continues right on the side here. As he's got that outline as well. It's a really nice artwork that they're doing here. I do like that there's a little pad. Let me get a light on here for you guys. I do like they got a little pattern in there. That's really, really cool. Put this eye out. It's got the logo in the back here. I think most of the figures are following this. Sorry about that focus issue. And then on the side here, it follows with his moves and then what number he is. I think that's like his power marking or whatever. He's good at sword, whatever the rest of that is. On the top, we got the uh, number again. Down below, well, they put that, of course, because it was a retail, I'm sure. Yeah, so uh, let's uh, not waste any more time and let's get this bad boy open. Okay, guys, so I've got them out of the package. And the first thing I discovered here is that I do have a janky one. It's not a big issue. I know a lot of people are very upset about it, but I don't see an issue. He sit, he stands perfectly. He articulates well. I don't see any issue. So we'll start with the head here. This does come off. His little cowl here, as you can see. Ugh. Okay. And his head, he looks up this far, which isn't bad, because he'll have that cape on, or hood, I should say, the whole time. Does have good, goes all the way around. He's got very decent tilt here. You see he has like, his neck here kind of moves around, if you guys can see that well. You gotta make sure you keep that position if you're gonna mess around with it like I do. There we go, a little better light there for you guys. So and you can put that, slide that right back on with no problem. It sits on there fairly nice. So as far as his shoulders are, it's a little bit of a pain to get them up. This piece, as you see, right in there, if you guys can see that well enough, right down there, that piece slides into the shoulder. So if I get a better look at that, yeah, I see that. So when his arm goes up, it slides and his arm goes up about that far, I would say, before you're, you're really doing any damage. Got the typical movement here on his bicep. He's got very good articulation range for his elbows, double jointed, typical for the wrist. He's got the in and out, up and down. Up and down is where it is jointed. You can see it's a little, little difficult to do this, to move his arms up. It just seems like snaps in place, but actually comes down very fine. So again, with the waist, we get this much for it. It's a little hindered because of his belt. Well, his belt and his skirt piece, I should say. He does come back this far, which is very good. He does have a clickety-clackety going on in there, which is fine. Like I said, he shakes. It's, it's no issue. He has a waist swivel, which is fine. So he does have an upper thigh cut. His leg comes forward that much and it goes back that much. The soft good, the soft plastic actually moves out of the way fairly easily, which is nice that they have these cuts here, which affords for that. Sorry if you can hear my cat purring. He's really interested in this. He does have the drop down leg effect, as you can see here. Hopefully you guys can see. Which is really, really nice. As you can drop it down and get his leg all the way up like that. He has double articulation in his knee so he can fold his knee all the way back sorry buddy he does not have a cut in his shin because of the guards he's got here it does have really nice articulation in his ankles the four pin and rocker and all that good stuff um yeah i don't have an issue with this whatsoever I don't know why people are so upset about it or what. It's not like he doesn't have a problem standing still. Do they want him to stand like that? Let's see. If I had an issue at all, really, if any gripe, I would say, I don't know. I wish his eyes were looking a little more straighter. I can't really view or focus in on it that well, as you can see. But I just wish there, 
I wish they're looking towards you, is what I'm trying to say here. I really wish they did a little better job on that, but I'm not going to complain. Again, this was, I got this at a, just about retail, so I can't really be that much upset. So for his accessories, he comes with a quiver with these bows. And if I could find his other arrow, or his arrow, I should say. All right, let's do his bow. His bow matches the quiver and the arrows very nicely. Plugs in the back. And as far as, I knew that was going to get me putting accessories in there. This is the arrow they give you that goes for the bow here. Now, my issue is, first of all, the size is off. The, I think they call that the quill. I'm not 100% sure, but the the design is different and the color is different. And if you see here, the length is different as well. So I don't exactly know why they didn't paint this, which would have been fine. I would have been okay with it. But the fact that it's not painted and the fact that it's not even the same arrow really bugs me. But that punches in right here really nicely. And we'll go right to his sword. His sword here. I don't know what that little hole is for. I'm not quite sure if there's anything that goes into that. If I miss it and somebody wants to add in the comments, I'd appreciate it. This is a sword. Nice. Just looks really plasticky. Cheap. I wish they'd find a different paint they could use. I don't know if you guys can see that that well with all the light. I know for sure I can't see it that well. But his sword goes in there very nicely. It does punch into the back of the quiver. Just like that, which I like because you get the added effect of seeing both of them through. His bow comes up here, which actually this would be the wrong hand for that. A little bit of trick. You got to kind of stretch the hands a little bit to get it to go in there. I did try sliding it up and all that. I just don't want to break this thumb. As you can see, it's a little hard. We are, Everybody that collects G.I. Joe's knows about thumbs. <laughs> so he holds it in there very nicely. As far as the arrow, I don't know exactly what their design was. Maybe to have it like this. I don't really know. There's not really a place to, for him to hold on to this. I wish they had the finger up a little more. Hoping you guys are seeing this as well as I'm doing it. The only other way I can think is like this, but that's a very silly way to draw a bow. Um, yeah, so that's that. He does come with, I forgot what this is called. I believe it starts with the K weapon, which is nice. I wish they would have done a little coloring on it. I feel it's very, very plain. Let me see if I can get a little better focus. There you go. Yeah. It's a very plain weapon. He also comes with a grappling hook, which I did not disassemble. This is not something I'm going to use. I wish there was a place for him to hold on to this, like a hook. I even tried the back to see if this is what was meant to go through this. But I don't know. I mean, it seems like it could. Actually, we can just try to mess with that now. But if you see here, it just really it doesn't want to fit through there. If the rope wasn't there, it probably would. I say probably, but I don't know for sure. If you see, if you force it a little bit, it will go through. But we don't want to do that. I'm not sure that's ex exactly what that was made for. Like I said, it would be nice if you had a little hook or something, a little strap maybe even on the back, that he could just put it in there. I think that would have been really cool and a nice added feature for them to do. Again, I'm not really a fan of them just leaving these the way they are and not painting them. Like I said, the bow comes really, really nice. It matches the quiver. I understand the sword. The sword does have the silver and it does have the white. That would be fine. But I just feel like them coloring this kind of just eliminates these out. And I feel like they really just rush the production here, which seems to be the case with a lot of these... Um, G.I. Joe and a lot of stuff Hasbro's been doing. A lot of good detail, but they have been leaving a lot of stuff out lately. So, yeah, that's my review on Storm Shadow. It's a very nice figure. He was on Amazon. Again, I got a damaged package, so I got him for $23.99, I believe that was the price. So, hopefully, you guys will luck out, too, or if you guys have pre-orders, you guys will get them in, too.
see snake eyes is hanging out there for a little bit i'm gonna do a couple of pictures and um i look forward to seeing you guys next time thank you very much and have a good day